I gotta live till the mic turns off But now I'm here, I cannot go soft I found myself when the rest got lost Our Transformer of the Week, Mr. Chad Withrow. Chad, welcome to the program. A pleasure to be here and it's been awesome going through this process. Coach, I gotta tell you right now, I'm a little nervous today. We got a pro in here today, yeah. Coach. I mean, this is a legend now. Legend on 104.5 The Zone. I'm diligently taking notes on your performance today, broadcasting-wise. <laughs> you guys are off to a good start, so uh, excellent work so far. <laughs> Talk about the profile that you kind of fit and why you came in here, because you're coming in with a little bit of a different set of goals. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it, a lot of times you, you hear about the person, hey, I lost 120 pounds, or I did this and that. When I came to you guys, I was saying, I don't need to lose 100 pounds, but as someone who grew up playing sports, I would like to be able to run a mile uh, without feeling like I'm gonna pass out. I'd like to lose 25 to 30 pounds. That was a goal of mine, and I think my situation's a lot like a lot of people out there in that I had my first child, uh, my wife and I did a little over a year ago. You know, your diet gets a little worse, you're not sleeping as much at that point, you put on a few pounds, and I just wanted to get healthier. And uh, that, that's where I thought I was a little bit different. I think a lot of people, they decide to do something when they, they hit rock bottom or when they know they have to make a change. I knew I needed to make a change. I knew it was something that I wanted to do, but it wasn't as drastic a process as maybe some people who come here. And I'm talking to everyone out there that's a lot like me. You know, Maybe you think, hey, I'm not, I'm not obese right now. I'm not that overweight, but I know I could be healthier. I know I could lose a little bit of weight this is a great program for that person out there and it really fits that clientele as well. And your numbers speak to the fact that you've done just that in just a, a few very short weeks. You've been able to actually already get to maintenance phase. Yeah, and when I'm talking to my listeners about this program, so often you hear about scale weight. I know this is something you guys talk about. Um, you know, I'm down 38 pounds in fat, which is really the most important thing because if you're doing the program, you're doing it right, you're gonna gain some, some weight in hydration, gain some weight in muscle, and I'm down 27 pounds on the scale also. Um, so it, it has really fit perfectly with my lifestyle. Uh, it's something that has worked. I knew it was working immediately. And uh, I'm shocked the level that maintenance phase now is working also for me. So it, it's been a terrific experience. And it's really changed my mindset, I think is the, the biggest thing going. You know, for so long, if you played sports growing up, you're thinking, I can eat whatever I want because I'm active. You know, I can do whatever I might and my health's gonna be fine. Then as you get a little older, it's like, well, I gained seven pounds in the last year, that's not too bad. Well, I gained 10 pounds in this past year, that's not too bad. So you still kind of have that air of invincibility that you can eat whatever you want, you can do whatever you want. And then at some point, you, know, you get in your mid thirties like me and you look around and think, well, I can't do whatever I want. You know, I really need a plan now to get healthier and then to hopefully maintain and stay healthier. And uh, that's, that's really what LT360 has done for me, not just physically, but I think mentally changing the way I look at food, changing the way I, I look at my own health. He didn't wait until it was a alarm moment going off where somebody's having to call 911 or, or a doctor's staring you in the face saying, hey, you got diabetes and if you don't change, you know, X, Y, Z is going to happen. He decided to take care of it early on. There's power in that. Well, there's a tremendous amount of power. In fact, uh, you know, you're speaking to me because it took a catastrophic event in my own life for me to make a change. And I tell people all the time, you've heard me say this, you don't have to wait till something catastrophic happens for you to make a change for the good in your life. And if you don't know, you know, what you don't know, then find out what information that you need so that you can reach your goals and be all that you were created to be. Talk about some of the intangibles. The intangibles are, you know, I, I haven't, I've always experienced bad allergies. Allergies aren't as bad. Um, you know, just overall healthier, not, not sick as often, you know, different things like that. And again, and I think Coach Oatswall just, just hit on this as well, the, the fact that you change your mindset and your mentality and that you know that there's a plan out there and you can execute that plan. You know, if you try the program out and you, you do it and you can get through it and you can reach your goals, then suddenly if you get to maintenance phase and you know, you're doing certain things, it's like, well, if I need to, I know I can execute that plan. So I think that the mentality of that, that you know there's the right plan out there for you, and that if needed, you can execute it, or you can continue on with it for the rest of your life. Uh, that to me is, is really reassuring that, hey, this is something that works, this is something that'll keep me healthy at a cellular level, 
and I know that I can, I can get back into it whenever I want, and I know what I need to do in maintenance phase to, to maintain that as well. I've heard it said this way, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. And many people have a mindset that they need to be challenged. They need to continually stretch themselves and grow and expand. And when you don't do that, something inside you dies. There's some things and some greatness that's inside you that needs to be activated. And the only way that you can do that is if you set some goals for yourself, if you set some areas that you can reach up and jump that's not easily grabbed. And you, guess what? You're going to have some mistakes. You're going to have some setbacks. You're going to fall down. You're going to scrape your knees. You're going to get punched in the mouth. Uh, the messenger of misery may show up. M Murphy's Law might show up. But the great news, and what I hear Chad saying, and this is just echo from so many clients, is that I now have a plan. I'm now educated. I now know I can go back and fall back on what I know anytime that I need it, and I can call on that to help me continue on my journey to health. You know, don't wait around. Don't wait until you gain 20 more pounds. Don't wait until there's some sort of catastrophic medical uh, emergency. Do it now. I mean, stop waiting. You know, there's always an excuse. Uh, it's football season, or I got this trip coming up, or whatever it may be. Just do it, you know, and then uh, I think once you start to see the results, you'll realize, hey, I made the right decision by taking action now. I got a little of my turns off, but now I'm here, I cannot go so. I found myself when the rest got lost. I'll be the last one that they write off.